Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Papa Meerkat, and we are back in the exciting world of Borderlands 2. Alright, so, you notice I'm not in the Iridium Blight where I left off in the last episode. It's because I did something off camera. I spent several hours farming a specific item that I wanted, but I couldn't get because the game locked the quest out after I turned in the main quest. And it locked out the uh, the quest that allows you to farm the bee shield, which I like having. So I farmed it off camera with a different character that I, I have on my account. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to sell some of this junk. I don't know. This might be pretty good. I might keep it. Why not? But yeah, I did farm this specific item. And I'll show you guys in just a moment. Alright. So uh, I put it in the uh, share with other characters vault. Over here. They should have more item slots. They only put four in there and it kind of sucks. That's, why, that's one thing I didn't really like. I understand that you don't want to share a huge amount with your characters. But only having four slots, man. Six would have been a little bit better. But here we go. I like the little clap trap. Alright, alright, you see these two right here? This is what I farmed. This is the V Shield. And how I farm these off camera is that if I go to a DLC, because I got a higher, higher, higher Mechromancer, or a gauge, and I farm the V Shield from the walking trents or the trees in the Assault on Dragon Keep. And the highest I got was level 30. All the rest was level 28. I had like seven shields dropped total, and in that several hours or a couple hours, and most of them were 28. And then I had a 29 and a 30. Luckily, at the very end, I finally got a 30. But I'll show you guys. All right, so this one right here is the level 29, and here's the level 30. I might wear this one because it is higher level. It's closer to my level, but I will carry them both just because. I like using the B shield when it comes to the warrior. I like to be able to use this. But I am not that far up there yet. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to equip one of these puppies here. Let's see. I got a turtle shield. Yay. I'm going to take the level 30. Boom. Now I got a bee shield. And I got my health back. It was a big chunk of health too. That Look at that. I'm over 10,000 now. Those turtle shields, man. High capacity, but destroys your health. Like crazy. Alright, so I'm going to just go ahead and sell this. Yeah. Alright. Now the bee shield is awesome. But if you lose any of your shield capacity, if you get hit or anything, you take any damage, then you lose the effect, and you have to wait for it to re regen. So as long as it's full, you get uh, amp damage on every shot, and it's amplified by sh uh, guns that do. Okay, like a shotgun. If you look at a shotgun, I don't know if I have one on me no. But if you look at this right here, this uh, bone shredder. It says 398 times 3. Well, for those 3 shots that you see, or that times 3, the amp damage is not so great. And what you need is a something that says, see like this one right here, the un uh, Double Penetrating Unkempt Herald, it shoots t uh, 2 times at 2,000 damage. But every time it shoots each shot, so if say 2 times, 2 times 6 rounds... Or uh, projectiles it would be 12 shots well there's another gun in this game called the uh, in a DLC is from the pirate booty DLC and uh, it's called the Sandhawk it doesn't have it doesn't say times anything on it it just says one flat damage I hope I'm making sense here but that, that flat damage it says like it doesn't have a a multiplier like this says times two or this says times three when a gun does not say that, the amp damage is even greater. <clears throat> because 
like the uh, the Sandhawk, which is a SMG that shoots six to eight rounds or six to eight uh, projectiles per shot, but it doesn't same times anything. It does not say anything like that. Therefore, that is amplified that many more times. Yeah, I, I know I sound like I'm not even making any sense to even myself, but that's pretty much how the, the the thing works. It's like if it doesn't have times anything on it, more damage the B shield will, or more the B shield will affect the projectiles. All right, so let's see here. I got 20. I might do one of these. Don't even have a shotgun. Don't even have a assault rifle, but. Shotgun is better because I use shotguns more. All right. Well, what I'm gonna do? I don't. Uh, this fiber kind of sucked. I wanted a better one, but I didn't get a better one. So. Oh well. This sucks. I don't like having two of the same type of gun on my inventory because you're chewing up that much more ammo for using both of these. That's pretty much what I got. I got a rocket launcher, but I want to have this uh, lady fist. It's a really good weapon. The fiber can be good, but you have to get the right parts, and that one did not have the right parts. If you watched my last episode, you'll know it's not that great. All right, I'm gonna head back to the Iridium Blight, and we're going to go towards the uh, the warrior. And after we're done with the warrior, I kind of wanted to go ahead and go back and see if we can finish up some of the quests. Uh, maybe. It depends on what they, they drop. And they're probably going to be worse than my level. They're not going to be worth doing, except for the EXP. So if I don't do any of the quests, we're going to be starting the first DLC. Which will be the Pirate BD DLC. Alright, so. Yeah, the, uh, I think the first DLC that came out for Borderlands 2 was the... The Underdome, Moxie's Underdome. But I don't really like doing the uh, arenas. Not for camera stuff. Let me know if anything catches your eye. Make sure we are full here. Don't want to go into anything without being full. No Alright, I got the B shield. If I get a critical hit with something, it's going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, we got we left a lot of quests behind. Oh yeah, we left we left a lot of quests behind. I don't like doing that. I like finishing the game to a degree. But in the first playthrough, it's not a big deal. And the reason being is that everything is weaker and weaker further you level up. And there's just no point after uh, after a certain point in the game. There's just no point doing the quest because they're, they're diminishing rewards, if you will. The only thing that will be worth it would be the EXP. Even though how small it is. I'm going the wrong way. That's the info stockade. And we got King Mon. You hear that sound? That's the B shield working, and I got hit by that, so it's gone now. The thing is, you gotta try to not get hit. And that's the hard part. Let's see what you dropped. A level 26 sniper. Mine's better. And you dropped a tenacity relic by Free Lifetime. Blue. And a blue sniper rifle at twenty six for two thousand dollars. I'll pick that up. E. Eh. But I think he has a chance of dropping a legendary. I've never had it drop though, so I don't know what he drops. Let me know in the comments. I just really, I have really bad luck in Borderlands to get in uh, legendaries and whatnot. Real, er I think real early on when I was playing, uh, or started my let's play of this on my channel. I farmed, what was his name, um, Savage Leaf for the Young Kim Herald, and it took forever, way longer than it should have. Man, these racks, they're so bad. At the last, my, uh, or my last episode, those, what happened was those racks were just beating me up.
And there's Claptrap. What's up, Clappy? Any midges? No midges. This is it, minion. Our vengeance is finally at hand. Let's tear this planet a new soul. Yeah! But he gets defeated by his worst enemy. Hyperion's gonna regret ever setting foot on Pandora. Minion, I'm gonna get that door open so I can take care of that handsome bastard myself. You hear me, Jack? You killed my friend. You destroyed my product line. I am the last claptrap in existence, and I am going to teabag your car. <laughs> oh, classic claptrap. Thanks. Like I'm going to really uh, take their fire for you know into my face. Every time you hear that sound, let's say a B shield or the amp damage. Hey. But like I was saying earlier, when you have the um, times anything, it still works with the amp damage. But if they Additional troops. No! Don't dispatch more troops! I'm sorry! I'm sorry, pretty female voice! All my shots missed him and then I get hit. Blame. Love the unkept Herald. There's a lot of talking of this part of the game, so it's kinda of hard to Additional troops. Talk to myself. It is really difficult to talk. See? Yeah, my commentary is going to be lacking right there. Because every time I talk, I get cut off. Infinitely.
reinforcements depleted. Don't worry, baby. Happens to a lot of girls. Mom, say something. Damn it, Jack! How did you know that stairs were my only weakness? Next to electrocution and explosions and gunfire, rust, corrosion, being kicked a lot, viruses, being called bad names, falling from great heights, drowning, adult onset diabetes, being looked at funny, heart attacks, exposure to oxygen, being turned down by women, and pet allergens. Your brilliance is matched only by your malevolence! I'm just gonna go ahead and cloak now. You can't hear me crying if I cloak. <laughs> I'm so alone. <laughs> I'll never climb those stairs. <laughs> okay, that's enough of a clap trap. <laughs> There's a lot of talking in this part of the game, so it's really hard to do commentary. That child killer, hmm? The key's nearly charged. This world is gonna end. If you say so, Jack. If you say so. <laughs> Alright, so if there's no more talking, uh, the, uh, times anything on damage in the, uh, gun, the times does affect, uh, is, uh, it works with the, uh, B shield, but if there is a multiple bullets without having a times anything on there it does more damage it seems just like the sandhawk when i get that uh, i'll show you guys what i mean man the sandhawk can destroy with a bee oh another uh, borderline symbol right here behind the crates at the very beginning here nice all right let's refill our ammo Just make sure we're full on everything. Check out all this. Oh, this stuff's in the level 30s. Nice. Not any good, babe. Two words, my no refunds. Roid damage. If you see a shield like this, it's for melee damage. It's. Yeah, I think it acts the same way as a B shield or an amp damage shield, except for melee damage. See, this is for just like the B shield, but the B shield has... Uh, Okay, if you see uh, this shield right here, this amp shield, it says amp shot drain. When you first your fire or uh, fire your first shot, I was saying that backwards for some reason. If you fire your first shot from your gun with your shields completely full, it will do. It will get rid of almost a thousand uh, your shield capacity and amplify amplify that first shot. That's how amp shields work in this game. So it gets rid of a thousand of capacity. To amp amplify your first shot which does extra damage but after that you have to wait for the shields to recharge back to full capacity before the next shot is shot as an amp shot bam I, I made it through that but the B shield is different it doesn't it doesn't drain the shields as you, if you see on the uh, the B shield it says amp shot drains zero that means every shot you fire while you're at full capacity acts as an amp shot it just it doesn't um it doesn't uh take out any of the shield capacity which is that's why the b shield is good but back then before they nerfed it that gun used to destroy everything in the game or they shield combined with a gun would destroy everything in the game very very quickly even the final boss so they had to uh get rid of it because they had to nerf it it was just way too powerful But the B-Shield is still good with guns like this that has a, uh, multiple shots, so. 
Whoa. I got did a heck of a roll. You see that? Got him. Oh, one shot death. There's a switch up ahead for that room, but I never got anything good from that room, so. I don't like those bull loaders. Or those uh, power loaders that have the uh, spinning arms that block pretty much 100% of your shots. Uh huh. If I was using the Lady Fist or the, yeah, the Lady Fist I'll use for the, um, the boss. Hey, your foot is, there you go, finally. Haha. <laughs> I'm gonna take this area slow, so this video is gonna make it all the way through to the very end where I fight the warrior. So the video is gonna be a little longer if everybody's okay with that. That guy really destroyed me. Yeah, the switch for that door is like way up here. It's not extremely far. I guess it's still kind of at the beginning, but it takes a while to get here because you got to go through all the enemies up to that point. Ah! Ah! And nothing. I haven't had a drop from. Now. You get the hell away from my friend. Oh God, is he screaming again? Damn it! We can't get through. I'm not used to picking up money because in the first game, the remaster edition, I have max money. Mordecai's in position, and my fists are hungry! Let's go! I'm gonna try to keep the commentary on the down low, like I said earlier. There's a lot of talking in this part of the game. I think there's a yeah, uh, chest back here. Don't want to fill up your inventory too much because if you fight the final boss, you want to be able to pick up anything he drops. And what I'm hoping for is the uh, conference call shotgun, which is a really good gun too. Nerfed as well because it was overpowered. Because conference call with the beast shield, you could take out the warrior one shot from full health. So that's why it had to nerf everything, which sucks. Ah. <laughs> the lady fist with the B shield plus amped uh, critical hit damage. This gun right here becomes extreme. Wait a minute, man. I gotta go back and get that switch and check out that chest. Which will probably be just junk. Which is my luck, usually. Welcome to the, the unluckiest player of uh, Borderlands. I think it's... I'm trying to remember what this switch was. It's been a while since I've been here. I think you had to shoot it from somewhere. Or you had to walk to it. I think you gotta go across this uh, rock right here is stuck to that pillar over there. Yep, there it is. Back behind this pillar. And now that gate at the very beginning is open. So we're gonna go check that out real fast. But like I said, my luck in that area is pretty bad when it comes to that chest in that room. 
It's always usually whites or blue. Not blue, but green. What am I saying? I would be able to have better luck with the blue. <clears throat> There it is. All right. Yep, told you. Junk. Eh, good to go check it out, though. Let's go. Yeah, the capacity of the beast shield is so low compared to most shields you can get at this level. But the reason being is because I think that's part of the nerfing they did. You don't want like a shield with like 5,000 capacity plus having overpowered ability. I don't know if everybody's going to consider me cheating, playing another character, putting a shield, B shield, but I, I forgot that the game locked that quest if you turn in the main quest up to that point. So that was my fault. And, uh, I guess it's a good warning for you guys if you never made it this far or never played Borderlands 2 and you want to play it because of the release of Borderlands 3 you want to give it a try do not turn in any main quest at that point go and do that radio station one first because you'll get you can farm the beast shield after that point which is worth it I'm usually higher level right now I'm not used to being this low here because what I do is before I do the main get, get part of this game in the first playthrough I start doing all the uh, DLCs beat through all the DLCs and then come back and beat the main game and then start the second playthrough if that makes sense <laughs> but this time around because I'm playing it in order the best I can what I'm doing is I'm playing it to the end of the game and then moving to the DLCs Let's go! There's Mordecai. Range. Engaging auto cannons. Uh oh, I'm oh, being shot at. I can't I can't uh, shoot those. They got the invincible shields. Ah, oh, I got hit. But the Lady Fist still does a lot of damage without a beat for the amp shot. I didn't even hear him or even see him. He just was there. Time to run back and protect myself a little bit here. And I get instantly dropped down. Well, that sucks. Will I be able to hit a weak spot? No, because I keep looking down for some reason. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Jet loaders. God damn it. We're taking fire. Just hold on. Can you drop the shields on those things, please? Oh, lose. I would be grateful. They are very accurate for how the shots look. They look like they're so scattered, but yet they always hit you. Kill him! Kill him! Oh, I got him. I'm dead again. Use a little bit more powerful gun. Oh! Two for one. Finally. Oh, baby, the path is clear. 
Feels like it's been a while since I've done this. They shot them out of the sky, guys. Are they okay? Mm -hmm. That's the question of the day right now. Are they okay? Wow, nice shot I did there. Messed that up. Wow. I'm better at sniping on console for some reason. Doesn't make any sense. Mouse controls, guys. Mouse control. If you want to be a sniper, you just can't. For some reason. Wow, the camera's like all over the place. Hard to hit anything. Get out of here, dude. Not the best idea just to use the one gun. Oh he got he went down like a bag of bricks, didn't he? Man, I got hit. This thing needs a fire fa uh, faster fire rate, I think. It would make this gun a lot better. Why are you jumping all over the place? You ain't killing nobody if you're jumping around everywhere. You're just getting yourself killed. Well, how'd you do that? You were looking the wrong way, dude. He knocked my shields out by looking the opposite way. Uh, you know. Sorry to inform you, but I think that's not how guns work. Well, for him it did. It's the hardest part is trying to juggle the B shield to make sure it's always full. And that's probably the hardest part about doing the B shield. That's why people were not very happy about the um, nerfing, even though it was overpowered. The thing was, was trying to keep the shields going and still be able to get that amp shot damage, which is not the easiest thing to do. Especially when, you, when you're surrounded by a whole bunch of enemies and blah blah. Dang it, jump man. Why'd you just walk off? I pushed space. Thank you. I think there's supposed to be a chest up here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Can't go back there. But we are on our way to fighting Jack and the warrior. Getting closer and closer. Make sure to open these up to get ammo back and hopefully get a loot midgy. So far these chests have been pretty lame. That's not too bad. Not bad. gone. Best thing to do is like try to take these guys out and keep your shields going. I can't even hit that guy. And there goes my shields instantly. Come on man. At this range with the pistol it's hard to get a critical hit. Wow. That's lame. Oh, 
Let me get behind the wall, please. See, sniper guys, they just destroy my shields in one shot. Try to get rid of his arms. Come on, where's the eyeball? Finally. The yellow ones are always usually uh, the Super BA variant of the robots. So if you see them yellow in the distance and you can't see their name, they're most likely going to be the Super BA. Because the other ones have like yellow and gray on them for the normal BAs. Oh yes, it drops in a bunch of robots down here. And you get another Super BA constructor. And I got hit. And that little eye right there is very hard to hit. I can't do any damage. Oh, that's just a regular BA. I was thinking about the second playthrough, I guess. Boom. Alright, let's head on down. Make sure to pick up my ammo. I usually take this uh, part of the game slow just to make sure I do not get wiped out very quickly. And that's something you don't want to happen. So it's okay to take your time, do not rush in. Especially if you this is the first time you're playing this game. If you're a veteran then you know exactly what to do. But if you're first set playing this game, which I do recommend playing it, it's awesome series. And um, just take your time, just get through here one step at a time. Because there's some of these robots can and whatnot can take you out pretty quickly. A lot of shields this guy dropped. I'll go ahead and pick that up. That's not a bad shield for a turtle. And we got a transfusion sticky. I do like a good transfusion, but only if it's a really good one. But that goes for any uh, weapon and armor and shields, whatever. Armor is no armor in this game. What am I saying? I wonder if they're going to add armor in the third game. I haven't heard nothing though. That'd be weird, having like armor sets that gives you extra defense. Come on, guys. He's dead. B shield and critical hit damage with this pistol. It's, he was pretty much dead before he even moved. Hey, bro. He was still shooting at me even though he was dead. Where are you, dude? There he is. Oh, he's shooting rockets. Just beyond that door right down there, where those robots are coming from, that is where the warrior is, and Handsome Jack. Bring the fight to him. Just make sure you're good on ammo up to this point because before the uh, final fight there is a couple of shops you can sell stuff to or buy ammo Wait, where's all these uh, surveyors coming from just popping out like daisies got him oh no oh no ow wow what kind of shots are you using dude that was full shields. Oh, sniper rifle. This guy got two sniper rifles. You see that? That robot had two sniper rifles, one in each hand. I can't akimbo uh, sniper rifles. What the heck, man? Unfair, I say. Nerf. Nerf the robots. <laughs> They just keep coming, don't they? Keep coming. The other thing is they're trying to protect the uh, the big big man, the big boss.
can you not hit him? Worst shot in Borderlands history, right here. They call me Mr. Awful Shot. Can't hit a broadside of a barn at less than two feet away with any weapon. And I'm almost out of ammo for my sniper. What do we get? What do we get? Yeah, burst firewall zoom though. Keep filling on inventory with unnecessary weapons because I want the we the loot from the boss. The final boss. Alright, so uh, my, my weapon choices is the Unkempt Herald. I like the Lady Fist. I would like to have a good shotgun, especially an explosive one, for one reason. And that's not for the warrior, but before all the chrysalisks. What the heck is up with this guy's movement pattern? Stop, man. Uh, who cares about you, dude? And more infinite enemies popping in. Just stop spawning enemies. I'm gonna start acting like Handsome Jack and his angry, angry self. But I'll use these, this gun right here for the warrior slash the chrysalis because there's uh, chrysalis everywhere. And I usually play as Mechromancer, which has a robot that you can summon. It's gonna be a little different for me playing as Axton because there's one enemy my old bot my robot always took care of throughout the entire the entire fight and that was the Rax that is a radian infused Rax that just fly around you use the Rax as a uh, a way to raise yourself if you get dropped down all right here we go the Vault of the Warrior. Alright, let's see here. I'm going to keep this. I don't know. If, uh, I might keep this anyways. It would be good for the racks, I guess. kind of want to try this thing out. Amp. SMG. Burst Fire, though. I'm not a big fan of the Burst Fire scene. Everything I got is Burst Fire, of course. We might take a run at it with what I have equipped it. Well, we do have to take out Jack first. Alright. Now, I might farm the warrior off camera. Actually, I might. I, I'm not, it's not a might. I will farm the warrior off camera because... The plague, bandit. You and your kind have corrupted Pandora with your greed and your hatred. It comes down to me to save this world from your kind. But I'm more than happy to do it. Uh, he, he cut me off. There's a secret chest somewhere around here. I'm gonna see if I can go after it to show you guys. I think it's down here. Actually, nope, that's death. Or I think I went the wrong way. Nope, here it is. I found it. Right here, secret chest. You have to go down that little lava hole, take some damage, see what I get. Junk, my favorite. That's not bad damage for that pistol. Yeah, I got junk out of that, that one there. Lots and lots of junk. I think you pretty much have to off yourself now or head this way. Yeah, you pretty much have to off yourself. I need to respawn back to the top. So that, that chest you will have to pretty much off yourself, but you can get good loot out of there. It has a high, higher chance of getting better loot. So it could be worth it. It was lava. I'll shoot at the lava. But if you want to farm that chest, you can get legendaries out of it. If you don't mind losing a lot of money, money in this game is not a huge deal. It's just there for uh, to buy ammo, and that's pretty much it. Or just the the occasion you might find a legendary in a shop. Very rare occasion. 
So yeah, it's not really, it's worth farming the chest and not the money. You can lose money all day and just go back and get more somewhere else. I didn't, I didn't even buy ammo because I went up to the chest. Oh well. No, oh, here it is. Here's the shop. I thought it was back there. Of course, you got a one-way uh, fast travel station. It only, it's only one way. That means it'll take you out, but you can't come back. If you got the money, I'll save your gold earned life. Hmm. Hmm. Hope you guys don't mind a longer episode. Next time you're bleeding. Really don't. Well, I'm full. Sweet. I am okay with this. Yeah, I suppose I can grenade 90 accuracy. I want to give this a try. It looks like it'll be fun. Any of this first fire stuff can go with melting lava somewhere. I usually don't use rocket launchers. And if you've been watching my list plays or just my channel in general, you know that I do not care for burst fires at all. That regen would be nice, but oh well. Alright, well. We're off to the warrior. Actually, we got to fight Jack first. So I'm going to bring out the Unkim Taro. A good shotgun would do. This is where it all ends. Once Lilith here charges the key, I'll control the warrior and wipe you bandits off my planet. When you get to hell, tell your vault hunter friends I said hey. Wow, dude. Actually, I might do a farming run on camera for the warrior. This sounds better. Let's see what I get. Hey, you're right on time. He's nearly ready, but before I cleanse this planet for good, I'm going to avenge my daughter. Hey, he has his Digi Jacks. You get to use these, the same ability in the pre-sequel. He has a good shield too, so be careful of that. <laughs> uh, that it? Huh? No! The key's charged! I'm not dying yet. <laughs> You're too late, bandit! I win! <laughs> the greatest alien power Pandora has ever seen. And it's my control! After the armor plate. Oh. <laughs> well, never mind about the warrior. He knocked me up with his tail, so be careful of that. But did you see how fast I took him down? The reason being is because I have the B shield and the uncapped peril. <laughs> that is so bad. Now here's these uh, chrysalis I was talking about. Be careful of them. He's dead. The legendary pops when his head blows up.
And when now uh, we'll mute the music for the credits because copyright. touch this thing right now, trust me. Slow down, man. I nearly bought it back there. Hey, Lily! Where the hell were you guys five minutes ago? If it weren't for the Vault Hunter, we'd all be dead. I think that's our way of saying we won. Hey, I figured that. If I never see this key again, it'll be too soon. It's been fun, you alien piece of shit. Borderlands 3 What the... Are those vaults? <laughs> you know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> no rest for the wicked. Hmm. Alright. Well, there we go. I took down the warrior very, very, very quickly. With the Beast Shield and the Double Penetrating uh, Unkempt Herald. His health was pretty much gone the first time he that I was able to do damage to him. And of course at this point in the game I will mute the uh, music. Of course I said this already. But I'll keep the uh, credits going for you guys. You get to see the, the cool pictures and the credits going on. Alright guys well. I think um, after the credits runs I'm going to go and check out what loot I got from the warrior because most of the time the legendary will drop in close proximity where his head blows up or underneath his head where when the game first came out and people started complaining about the warrior which happened to me and my brother too is that the legendary loot will land underneath the, the warrior's body and you wouldn't be able to pick it up because the warrior didn't despawn and we we lost a legendary shield and a gun. We didn't know what it was. It was just stuck underneath his body and he just... The warrior stayed there so you couldn't get the loot. They fixed that with an update not long after release. Like a couple months down the road. That allowed the warrior to shrink away and disappear so you could pick up the loot. We, Me and my brother was so mad when we were playing uh, couch co-op. That... A lot of the loot kept landing underneath him. And I do think uh, what I'm going to do. I said I was going to farm the warrior off camera. But what I'm going to do. I'm going to farm him on camera. So I can give you guys a little bit of a show. I'm going to do uh, maybe an hour long video. of Spliced together or edited video. Where all I do is just take out the warrior over and over again. And see what I get. And I hope I get the conference call shotgun. Uh, it's a really awesome shotgun. It's fun to use too. So when I get it, I'll show you if you haven't seen it before. Well, you could drop all kinds of loot, so it's a good idea to farm the warrior. So the next episode of Borderlands 2 will be me, uh, just a compilation of me farming the warrior. And then after that point, I will probably uh, decide if I want to do the quest, which most likely I won't. Whatever I have left behind. What I'm going to do is just start the next DLC and move on from there. Because in the first playthrough, if you over level, any quest you left behind is going to be lame or not worth doing. But everybody, I know everybody would like to see the story points of those quests. But in, in fairness, 
it's probably best to leave those quests for you guys because if I don't do if I do everything, then what's the point of you guys playing the game? Because you get to see everything. So if I leave some stuff undone, then you guys get to experience it yourselves. Which is kind of a fair point. Alright. Fight on guys, fight on. But if you notice at the end of that um when they she tried to destroy the vault key, it brought up a map and it showed the like a galaxy with all the uh, solar systems and you can see all these planets showing up with a whole bunch of vaults popping up everywhere. Well, that is supposed to be the premise of the third game because the third game is supposed to be allow you to travel between worlds and not just stay on one world. All the uh, the the first and second Borderlands games you're stuck on Pandora. The pre-sequel which has happened in between the first game and the second game, you go to Elpis and the Hyperion uh base in the in space so you get to go between those places but it's still around pandora you're still just on the moon of pandora we never got to leave the soul system or even that you know the, the moon slash planet but in the third game you're supposed to be in a different or in the same galaxy but you're on different planets and you get to travel between different planets and it's a new mechanic they're adding to borderlands 3 and i hope they do it well it makes me wonder, they got new vehicles that you can ride around on the planets, and it looks like you can even customize them, which actually looks awesome, but what about the traveling in between space, going to another planet, is it like a fast travel network, or do you get to actually climb on a ship and fly across space yourself, kind of like in the veins of Mass Effect, which would be kind of cool. But it would take more away from each map of the because more you add that's extra to a game, smaller the maps be have to, uh, the smaller the maps will have to be because you can only fit so much in the program. You don't want to take too much away like enemy variety, weapon variety, size of maps, or size of worlds really that you get to explore. So you have, they have to be careful to stay somewhere in between so they don't take away from the what people will consider fun in the games yep but the Borderlands series is one of my all-time favorite games I love the Borderlands series I do gripe here and there in my videos and I'm sorry about that but it's just the way I am when I find like um, stuff in games a little unfair or whatnot I will gripe a little bit but it's nothing to do with the game it's not I love these games you know I just, that's just the way I've always been since I grew up. I have broken a couple of controllers in my day. <laughs> I try not to, but I do get mad here and there. I try not to on camera, though. I really do. Just frustration, that's all. Like, uh, they, they, did that, is that at the opportunity when they turned down that statue? God, oh, there's Ellie back there. And you probably noticed one of these little pictures that's showing these comic strip pictures that Mordecai got his bird back. He's got a new blood wing. Actually, we don't know what he called the new one because it's just in a picture. Does he call it blood wing mark two or a different name completely? Or the thing is, we know Mordecai is in the third game. Will he actually show the new bird in the new game? And what's his name? Jack Killer. <laughs> oh, that's me. And the one surviving claptrap. There's the new Bloodwing right there. Actually, is that the same kind of bird as Bloodwing? That's my favorite character in the first game. Even though I played as Roland in my Let's Play, because I that's the only character I played the least was Roland. He was fun to use though. Awesome. I like the uh, deterrent. And that's a sad scene right there. It's Roland's grave. Yep. Sad scene right there. Credits are kind of long, so I'm gonna just let them play through. I 
And if I if I remember correctly, that every time you do um, Borderlands pre sequel or uh, not those uh, when you do the DLC of the, the second game here, there's no copyright music as the intros. It just talks about the the stuff in the or like a little story at the beginning. So I will be able to show the intros of those. I could show the intros of Borderlands 1 and 2, the actual main campaign, but it's not the same without the music involved, you know what I mean? If the mu if you keep the music there, it's actually accentuates the, the scene that you're seeing. Just having it silent and me talking over is kind of lame. I'm guessing everybody's probably seen uh, these credits before. But there's this, the odd couple people that might be watching my videos I've never seen it, so I'll keep it all in. And after the credits roll, we're going to go and see what loot we got, and then in the video there. So, and like I stated earlier on, that I will uh, do a farming video for the warrior for sure. Why would I do that off camera? You know, people want to see that. To see what I get. I might uh, make it a number. Let's say like a video of me taking them out like 10 to 20 times. See what I get. And then end the video. And then next, uh, the next video after that will we'll be starting one of the DLCs. Which will probably be the uh, Pirate Booty DLC. I always start with that one. I think it was the first DLC after the Underdome, Moxie's Underdome. That's why I keep the under the uh, arena, under the Moxie's Underdome DLCs out of my videos because it's not that they're not fun or anything, but it's just a uh, arena fights. You know, that's all it is. And I don't think, you know, the first couple of times you do it is okay to watch, but. The whole course of the DLC would co probably be boring after a, a bit because it's the same enemies or something over and over again. Or they just become higher, higher level. So that's why I usually keep that stuff out. I'm trying to keep your guys' attention watching the videos. That's the point. No one you guys get too bored like right now probably. <laughs> <coughs> oh, gotta take a drink here. Mm. That's hard. My, right when I laughed there, my uh, throat started itching really, really bad. Yeah, these credits are like forever. It's a lot of people that worked on this game. I think there might be a video at the very end talking about uh, Michael. Ma uh, what's his name? Mamriel, Michael Mamriel. That special character, person that passed away before this game was released and they immortalized him in the game. Now you can find him in Sanctuary randomly. <laughs> Purely uh, consequential effect of the side uh, of the. Uh... Oh, there was no talking. Congratulations, you've unlocked the true Vault Hunter mode. True Vault Hunter mode is where the real game begins. You'll fight new tougher enemies, earn better loot, and gain even more levels. You could change your playthrough mode from the main menu. Alright. I remember there being a video. Maybe they check it out. And Handsome Jack's Mask. Sure. I'm gonna go over here to see if we find any legendaries. Most likely we didn't get anything on that run. It'll be laying right here sometimes, but it could fly off too, so it's good to go check around. I didn't expect to kill him that fast. That was ridiculous. I took him out so quickly, it was like there wasn't even a fight there. I mean, what the heck? <laughs> Yeah, I don't look like I got anything this run. But that doesn't mean I'm going to do or not going to do a compilation of me fighting them over and over again. To see what we're gonna get. 
So that'll be tomorrow's video. Sticky longbow shock transfusion. Wow. That could be useful. Level 31 sniper rifle. I'm gonna try to pick up all the most expensive items. And useful stuff too, why not? 1700. I'm gonna try to keep it above 2000 for the most part. If I can. Easy hand cannon. Are you sure it's easy though? Yeah. But yeah, it's a real good idea if you get to this point in the game. Make sure to farm this guy. Well, we did get a legendary. And it kind of looks like a volcano. Alright, let's look at it. Yep, I know. <laughs> it's a volcano. Now, I love the volcano in the first game. The second game, it's okay, but it's not. it doesn't feel the same as it does in the first game. Man, the volcano can kick some butt in the first game. Ooh, that's a nice shotgun. 400 times 13. Only two shots. The best shotguns in this game are the uh, the double barrel or the quad barrel. The coach guns and whatnot. Those are awesome. You get a coach gun with uh, four barrels and explosive damage. You're doing some good, good killing right there. That's a nice okay sniper rifle. Yeah, right, I think that's pretty much it on the loot. Some stuff could fly way out there. I found uh, some weapons and money like way out here. Or even in the lava sometimes. It's like, really game? You're not supposed to throw the stuff in the lava. Like this. This is like way over here. I killed them way over there. I think I found a legendary out here before. You can see like the little spike hanging out of the, the lava. Alright guys, well... I guess I'm going to call that the end of the video. We did level up here, so let's do that real fast. Magazine size for assault rifles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Weapon swap speed and aim speed. Sure, that sounds good. Alright. Alright guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that final fight. Well, he, he did die very, very, very quickly. I didn't expect that fast. <laughs> But yeah, if you saw that when he pops up, he has these armor plates on his chest. That's what you shoot at. You gotta shoot those armor plates off, and then he becomes vulnerable underneath. Basically where his heart is. So, yeah. He, he, he went down super quick. Alright guys, well. If you'd like to become part of the Meerkat Nation, hit that subscribe button and join today. And... If you uh, like my commentary, you find it helpful, funny, or entertaining, hit that like button to show you support. I need all the support I can, guys. The more likes I get, more recognition I get on YouTube, and then YouTube will actually recommend my content. It's very difficult at the very beginning. It's up to you guys, the fans, and, you know, helpful people out there to help me out. Because you guys are awesome, right? All right. And uh, next to that subscribe button, you see a bell icon. You hit that bell icon, then you'll become part of the Meerkat Nation Notification Squad. And when that happens, you get notifications of everything I upload, so you don't miss any of these awesome adventures. And my failings, I guess. I fail too much. That's what makes it funny. Alright guys, well, each and every one of you have an amazing day. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.